The number two person at the Pentagon had just come out and said the recruiting quotas that are down 25% will go up if we in the military recruit non-binary service members. Any idea what that's going to do to the morale of the straight people, men and women in all branches of the service? It ain't going to be good. The U.S. military is running insanely behind their record, uh, um, recruiting quotas to bring in enough men and women in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, Space Force, I guess. I don't know. And it's largely because of, from what people are saying, it's largely because of DEI. The Pentagon's second ranking official has now come out and said at the Defense Younger Department. This is the number two person at the Pentagon in charge of all of the defense of the Americans around the world, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard. And it said that our priority is addressing non-binary service members and unconscious bias. And she was speaking at a, at a pride parade last week. And she said, that unless the military recognizes the importance of DEI with these LGBTQ non-binary types, our military readiness is going to be affected. And the only way we can be at full readiness and full alignment with our focus to defend America is by a non-binary recruiting drive and protection of non-binary individuals. This is the same person who said calling 9-11 responders anything but menaces was wrong. In other words, the people that went into the buildings on 9-11 were menaces. Are you hearing me? There are people that call her a self-loathing, anti-American masquerading as DEI. This woman is horrible and we're running 25% under recruitment. In other words, we don't have enough soldiers. She said, without this new diversity drive, we are a failed historic model with a colonizing past. This is the second person in charge of defending America. I'm speechless. Yeah, and they wonder why the numbers are so low for the recruits into the U.S. military, because men don't want to join the military and even be coerced or even the idea of putting on a skirt. They don't want it. People don't want that. The well, military- not only that, not only that, but would you want to serve next to somebody on an aircraft carrier that's cross-dressing? No. Or putting on I makeup mean, and earrings and- And women you know. don't want to join the military either because a grown man going to the restroom with him is already a problem in the civilian world. And they don't want to- Look, when you're on the front lines and you're in battle, I don't care about your makeup. I don't care about your nails getting broke. I can care less about it. None of that. None of that matters. And see, this is another thing. When it comes to the U.S. military, at least the U.S. military should be the one entity within the United States of America that reality is reality. You put on the soldier's uniform and that's it. If you are a man, you are going to be a man. What you do when you're on your private time, when they call it PT, Right. When you're on your private time, go do it. Stay out of trouble. Stay out of jail. But when you show up to duty, you put on a uniform, you shine your boots, you make sure your brass is shine. You stand to attention. You don't put on a skirt. You're out of uniform. The military is screwed up. And this is part of the reason why they're trying to introduce talking about what well, we need to raise the age limit for you know, the, the draft from 24, 18 to 24, from 18 to 26, because there's a lot of them that's going to get away for the up and coming possible war that they're trying to take us into. Because, you know, we got a we got we got debates coming up. We got election coming up. I truly believe something's going to happen to try to disrupt all of that, try to disrupt all of it. It's coming. There's a reason why they're doing what they're doing. Well, Marco Rubio said. Embracing woke culture rhetoric only makes our military appear unserious to our adversaries, especially China. I think oh, yeah. they're laughing at us. I think they Russia's are. laughing at us. China's laughing at us. Iran's laughing at us. North Korea is giggling. You know, if you pulled this in any of those armies, you'd be in prison or worse. And here, yeah. here, it's the number one priority in the Defense Department. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. <laughs>